Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Icarus. I am super excited to be back in, and um, I'm going to start off kind of just by destroying this entire base, because I built it funky, and one of you guys let me know why or how I built it funky. It turns out that I had accidentally, well, not accidentally, I intentionally placed a beam down, and the angle that I placed that beam down determined the angle that I could place the rest of these things down. Is that, does that sound right? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. But for now, yeah, we're going to get rid of our little hut. Um, now, I guess in order to do that, we're going to need to see all of our resources here and figure out how we stand on all of those, and it looks like we don't have a whole lot. So we're going to have to do a lot of wood chopping here. And um, I guess a lot of destruction of our base. And uh, then I say we do some exploration. Maybe we find some caves. Maybe uh, maybe we do some hunting today. That'd be pretty fun. Um, last time we did fight a bear, it ended up being pretty easy because he was across the water. And I was able to just hit him a bunch of times with the arrow through the water. Um, but I don't think they're all going to be that easy. All right, so to start, I guess let's just pick up our bed. And then I think we can pick up our campfire, right? Yes, we can. Okay, and then, well, hold on. You know what, before we destroy this whole thing, maybe I should test that little theory that I had. Um, let's do some crafting quick. So, if I place it direct... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not messing with you, man, don't mess with me. Okay, hold on, I gotta take care of this guy quick. Ooh, that was a good shot. I can keep getting him from the front. I should be able to kill him pretty quickly. It's when I start trying to shoot him from the top. Is when I start hitting like his uh, his scales, which are pretty difficult. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Okay, now back to what we were doing before. Let's grab that post. Um, like I was saying, I should be able to kind of place this in a certain direction, and then that will determine the angle that the rest of the building pieces go. I guess we'll see here. So if I do it straight off here, and then, well, let's put the other one for, let's put the other one right here, there, and there. And just like that, now we have the exact angle that we want. Okay, that's good to know, um, but now that I think about it, I kind of want to build over on that little island to start, and then maybe we somehow kind of expand, maybe put some bridges down, something like that. So let's take these back quick. And I guess just to... Oh, I can pick up the door here. Okay, let me do that. And then just destroy the rest. There we go. All right, let's get these trees out of here. Now I say we build right facing this way so we can get this beautiful view of the mountain and the sun in the morning. Wait, what is this thing? Deep mining ore deposit aluminum. An ore deposit that can be drilled with deep mining equipment. Okay. Uh, I didn't know this was here. I was actually just going to build over it at some point. Um, but maybe we hold off on that, I guess. And we can figure out what to do with that a little bit later. We have to unlock a lot of things. We're not even at tier two right now. We're just at tier one, which is fine. We just need the basics. We need the basics for building. And then we need to focus on all the other stuff. The furnace, the oxide dissolver, the short range radio. Uh, interact to receive a mission from SMLP3, Simplified Mission Pros Prospector Liaison V3. Interesting. Okay, so even in this open world mode, we can still do missions. That's actually really cool. So I cannot wait to do that. Um, but for now, let me see if I can finish this and uh, see if we can get put together. It's going to be a little small in the beginning, but it's going to be better than nothing.
Okay, there we go. So I built it all out of like the twigs stuff here, which I think looks really cool, but I totally forgot that I can just go in and start crafting wood immediately, but I should be able to upgrade from the thatch to wood. I just think I specifically need an upgrade tool. Is that right? Oh no, it looks like I could just use the regular wood hammer. Uh, I just, I couldn't figure out how before. I brought it out and I definitely have wood in my inventory. I have, I have 169, nice. Uh, I just can't figure out how to upgrade it. I specifically switched to wood. But I can't seem to upgrade it. I must be missing something, right? Oh, you know what? I don't need just the wood. I need the actual wall pieces in my inventory, don't I? Okay, so I'm crafting some wood walls right now. Let's, uh, let's see here. Yep, there we go. Oh, that looks actually way cooler. Let's do that, and let's finish these up here. go got it all finished up got it all upgraded to wood um it looks okay oh wait i didn't do everything to wood i'll i'll finish the beams here in a second um but other than that looks pretty good we probably need some stairs but i don't think i have that i've got the ramp but i don't think that we've got the stair variation of it here let's check really quick now we've got the roof peak the roof and the ramp I think until we get the actual stairs we just wait for that um but for now I just need to move these storage boxes back into here and then we'll get moving and we'll go find something to do. I did actually level up while I was building everything and I want to see here. What do we got? We got four points available. Now I'm wondering, maybe we do the fire whacker because I'm pretty prone to setting things on fire. So maybe we just have that just in case. And then what do we have in terms of building here? Oh, we can do the stairs. Yeah, screw it. Let's do that. Let's do the railing. And then I know we should do some armor, but that's not as fun as the rest of this stuff. Okay, I didn't realize that we could fish. Uh, let's unlock that. Why not? And then we've got one point to put into our skills here. And I say we just put it into a little bit of an increase in the wood that we get when we cut down trees. Yeah, one thing I definitely want to do is create a little bridge here because this is really annoying jumping back and forth between the land areas. And that's all on me, of course. I chose to build on this small island, but I really like this spot over here. So I don't regret it at all. Okay, well, it's already starting to get kind of dark. Um, it's about 5 p.m. Maybe I do some hunting. I do see some bison right over here. And so, oh, oh, even more over here. Okay, so maybe we do that. And then maybe we try and end the night with some fishing and then get started on our adventures in the morning. All right, guys. So we got some baby ones here. Oh, my gosh. I feel kind of guilty. That's probably like a mom with its two kids. But I want to hunt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was not hard at all. Okay. Um, sorry, little guys. You look old enough to take care of yourself, so go do that. Oh, no, I can't even harvest this thing because I need a level two knife. Um, shoot. And I could have unlocked the bone knife, which I think would have allowed me to skin this guy or gal. Um, but now I just killed her for no reason. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to keep moving. Okay, so for the fishing rod, apparently we just need some sticks and I think fiber. Is that what it was? Yes, it was. Okay. Now, I don't know if we need some kind of bait for this or what, but let's see if we can find out here. Oh, and you know what? One thing that I had an issue with, I didn't know how to do, was hold my torch in my left hand while I do other things with my right hand. So... Oh, apparently it's in my left hand. I can't see it now. Well, let me see here. Oh, so it's not necessarily in my hand. It's on my, like, my tool belt. Uh-oh. 
Uh, storm, okay. For this storm, we probably don't have to worry about a whole lot, except maybe having some wood on us in case we need to repair, which we don't have a ton. Got 37. Um, maybe before it hits, I go and try and uh, chop down at least one more tree here. Oh, those bison are just wandering aimlessly now that I killed their mom. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well... Like I said, on the plus side, we've got a torch now, and we can hold it while we're chopping things down. So that's really cool. Thank you guys for letting me know that. Okay, let's uh, let's try and make this quick. The storm's coming in hot. I'm pretty sure it's the wood that we need. Maybe we just need sticks. Either way, we're going to have enough for both. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, um, that was not great. I waited a little bit too long, got caught in the storm, and it was pitch black out. I couldn't see anywhere where I was going. And as soon as I went to the water, I got attacked and killed by a crocodile. So <laughs> our body is just out there somewhere. I can't see it right now. I have to wait the storm out. I think our base is probably going to take some damage here, which is unfortunate because I don't want to risk going out there and dying again to that crocodile. Okay, well, I at least was able to sleep through the night, and the, that doesn't make the storm pass, but at least lets us see a little bit. Man, it is brutal out there. Yeah, I'm just going to wait in here. We've got some meat on the fire, so let's eat some of that. Okay, it's still pretty brutal out here, but I think my body's somewhere over here, so I want to go and find it here really quick. Okay, so it looks like my body is right over here. Yeah, I really got lost. I died over here, and I thought I was all the way over there. That's pretty brutal. Okay, well, we got everything back. Uh, we took a little bit of a hit on the XP. If you look at the top left, um, all that red bar that's there now is the XP that we earned during this level, but now we have to basically earn it again um, because that's the kind of the penalty for dying. All right, so it looks like we didn't actually take all that much damage. That was a relatively tame storm. So I'm going to repair up here. Yeah, it did about 120 damage to the ceilings, but that was about it, it seems. All the rest are looking okay. A little bit on that wall there. And now, what I wanted to do was do some fishing. Now, if I take this fishing rod out, do I need to put any bait on it or anything? Okay, let's try and cast this thing. Yeah, it's just showing a hook down there. I wonder if I was supposed to put some kind of bait on it. Hold on, I'm going to reel it in. I, I feel like I'm supposed to. I don't know. I don't see any way to do it, though. Well, let's give it a shot here. I see some down here. Let me just throw it in the water. And see if any of them come in here. Ooh! Okay, okay, I don't know. I think I have to keep this little bar on the fish. Is that right? That's what it seems like. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. I almost had it. No, 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 no. It's right here. Hit the net. Oh. Yes. All right, we got an ember snapper. Look at this thing. Hold on, let's uh, let's get it in the light here. Would you look at that? Oh, what a beauty! <laughs> All right, well now I have no clue what to do with this. How do I? How do I like put him in my inventory? Is he in there? He is, and he's glowing. I don't know why. He's a common freshwater fish. Can be filleted at any fishing bench. Oh, I don't have a fishing bench. Can I just throw him on the fire? Let's take that. Let's throw some wood on the fire and activate. Oh, darn it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to. 
Um, in my defense, you should be able to throw some fish and just cook them directly, scales on and everything. Either way, let's just keep moving. Um, I would love to get a bridge down this episode. Don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but either way, let's do some exploration. If we check out the map here, this is all the areas that I've kind of explored so far. This is my drop pod that I dropped in on. I say we head down this way. I don't really know what to expect, but we'll go down this way. We're going to do a bunch of hunting along the way. And the reason for that is because I really need to get my XP up. I really want to hit that level 10. I also want to get rid of this XP penalty that I've got. And hunting is probably, I would guess, one of the best ways to do that. And um, just like that, we've got our first victim somewhere hidden inside there. I see crocodile. I don't actually see the crocodile, but I definitely just hit the crocodile. Uh, come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. That was a good shot. Oh, doesn't look like he's moving. I don't know where I'm aiming. There we go. That was a good shot. For some reason, he's not attacking me. I need him to get out of there. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? There you are. Why aren't you moving? You're making me kind of feel bad for doing this. What, he just turns away from me? It's like he's mad at me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Either way, he's dead now. Uh, <laughs> that was really weird. Either way, let's chop him up. We should get even more XP for chopping him up, I believe. Yeah, we got 750. That's pretty good for our level. All right, well, let me... Um, ooh, I need to probably chop up some oxite here in order to get some for my inventory. Really don't want to run low on that. I don't think it's a big problem, considering you can find these nodes... Pretty much anywhere. But let's just have some on us just in case. Throw that in there and we should be good to go for a little bit. Okay. This is probably going to seem bad that I'm hunting these guys for pretty much no meat, no bones, nothing. Uh, but I need the XP, guys. Please don't judge me. Okay, I don't... What is happening? None of these guys are running or anything. What's going on? Did I break something that j all the animals are just now not fighting back or anything? I haven't changed anything. We just had a crocodile kill me a little bit earlier. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yep. This guy's coming after me. Oh, those were some good shots, though. We got three headshots in a row, and that saved us. Can we chop him up? Yes, we can. And there we go. All right, I'm going to keep hunting. I'm going to keep working on this XP, and I'll see you guys in a second. Oh my goodness. This bear must have been getting a drink of water, maybe <laughs> maybe swiping up some fish out of the, the river here, but he absolutely snuck up on me. I did not expect him. But we did get some fatty T-bone from that, so 
as I've been hunting here, I've been getting several different kinds of meat. So we've got the fatty T-bone. we got the gamey meat. We've got stringy meat and white meat. The white meat, I'm pretty sure I got from one of the birds. I don't know if this is all new, but I definitely was not getting this stuff before. So that's actually really cool. I don't know if there's different recipes that we can use or maybe there's just different perks uh, for cooking up each one of those individually. Maybe I should try and put down a fire and cook some up while I'm here just so they don't all go bad. Okay, let's find a stone that I can chop up really quick. It takes a little while to cook them, which is kind of a bummer because I really want to keep moving. But I really don't want some of this to go to waste. It's already, it's degrading so fast. So let me see here. Let's put this down. Let's try and get some, oh, there's a wolf right there. Let's try and get this cooked up. Um, that, 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 that. Oh my goodness, there's no way I'm cooking all of this. And while he's here, let me try and get a shot on him. Oh, I missed. Stop moving. Oh, that was a Texas heart shot right there. This should be an easy shot. Boom, he's dead. <laughs> All right, let's jump in the water. Take out our knife and chop him up. Ow! Oh, my knife's broken. Here. We don't really need the bone right now. Let's just get out of there. These fish keep nibbling on my toes. I don't need that. They keep poisoning me. All right, we got some gaming meat. Let's just consume that really quick. That seemed to really up our health. Let's see what that did here. So I guess that counts as prime meat. That gave us 100 max stamina, 150 maximum health, 20 health regen per minute, and 5% uh, experience gain. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that stuff to go to waste. Unfortunately, I think a lot of it's probably going to. Let me see if I can try and cook this white meat before it goes bad. Okay, that looks like it's probably going to give similar... Yeah, I think the exact same. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so it looks like it provides the cooked prime meat modifier, so it's the same thing. Dang, that's really good. A lot of these different types of meats give us the prime meat, which I believe is like the best meat we can get. All right, well, I just marked this spot on the map, and I'm going to let all this meat cook up. Uh, it's going to take a while for each one. Oh, there we go. I I know a lot of this meat is actually just going to go to waste. I need something like a refrigerator. I wonder if that is a thing. That's got to be, right? Maybe we can check it out later and see if we can build some kind of refrigerator. Because I believe we can get some kind of generator and stuff going. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. There's actually so much to this world. And um, I know there's not going to be any shortage of things for us to do and for things to us to work on. My main goal right now in these beginning times, since we just dropped into this world, is just to, to earn as much XP as possible. And that's why I'm out here hunting right now. And honestly, hunting is like one of my favorite things to do in this. It's a lot of fun exploring because it's an absolutely gorgeous world, but uh, right as I say that, we've got a, a storm incoming. Um, shoot. That's the downside of exploring is the weather. Um, sometimes it surprises us, but... Look at that, we've got a bunch of big boulders that we can uh, make our little homes in. What's going on? I hear movement. Oh, oh, that deer scared me. I didn't know if it was gonna be another bear or what. But I'm going to try and get a little shelter built here. And by building a shelter, I just mean a hole in a rock. And there we go, now we've got our little hole built. We can sit in here safely if we're even hidden a little bit from any enemies that may come by. So hopefully we don't see a bear sneak up on us. If I remember right, I think all of the animals kind of essentially take shelter during these storms. I think they kind of disappear. I don't see any around us right now, and I doubt we will see any once this storm really starts to pick up. So I think we'll be good on that aspect. So for the time being, let me go into my little rock home here and wait out the storm, and I'll see you guys in a second. The storm has passed. A few trees have fallen, but I'm safe because I was living in a rock. And so now we continue. Wait, how? Oh man, it's already 5 p.m. Um, shoot, it's gonna get dark very soon. We didn't get all that far. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's keep moving. If we have to set up some kind of temporary base for the night, that's all right. Or maybe I'll just try and run back in the darkness. But for now, let's keep moving. Maybe we can find some kind of cave or something. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Like I said, my main goal... Ooh. 
was to do some hunting and some leveling up, which I just successfully did. So let's check this out. What do we got for talents? There's so much to choose from. I never know which one to do. We've got a solo point. I say we go into some stamina regen and then maybe increase our movement speed a little bit. That would be good. Probably reduced hunger rate. I'm getting hungry pretty fast, so that's good to just take care of now. And now one thing I really want to do is upgrade to the bone knife. I think that's a level two. I'm not sure. Either way, I think it's going to be better than the stone knife that we're using. I don't know how far I want to go into building with thatch right now. So let's do a wood railing. And I realized before I used the thatch railing, which I should not have done. That was kind of a waste. But maybe that'll look better aesthetically. And I think we do a medium wood crate. That's going to be good for adding uh, stuff to our storage. And then I know it's getting dark. So let's chop this guy up here really quick. Grab everything we need from him. And then we're going to drop this knife, I think, and craft a bone knife if I can. Okay, we just need some wood really quick. And there we go. We're going to craft that. Throw this knife on the ground. And bam, just like that. Oh, this bone knife looks kind of cool. Hold on, let me see. Oh, no. Light is closing. I can't even, I can't even get to the light. No. Okay, well, do we have a torch still? We do. Let's throw that on. Light it up. There we go. We can kind of see it here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like either part of like a spare rib or the antler from an animal. It's just sharpened. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, here's some carrots too. That would be pretty good to eat. Um, speaking of that, maybe I should try one of these prime... No, I can't do prime rib. Uh, let's just go with some berries. I'm going to consume the stack because that's going to give us a little bit of water as well. Um, you know what? I think I go home and try and sleep through the night before it gets too dark. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. I'm panicking. Oh, holy. These guys are so sneaky. I was just trying to go back to my campfire. Oh no, I've got a, I've got a wound I need to take care of. But I was trying to go back to my campfire and uh, get that meat that I cooked up. And I just heard him growling. Here, uh, let me repair this and then shoot. What do I need to make that band-aid? Or that suture, I think is what it was, right? Oh, I have enough. Okay, we're gonna be okay. I sometimes panic a little bit too much. Wait, wasn't, isn't that how I fixed it? I thought it was the suture. Oh, just a regular bandage? Oh, okay. There we go, okay. Now, before I accidentally start a fire, I'm gonna see if we can create that fire whacker. Yes, we can, okay. Yeah, I just wanna have one on hand because I know it's essentially inevitable that I'm going to set something on fire. But let's craft up, how many can we make? Uh, let's just make two of these medium storage crates. Um, they're gonna be a lot better than these small ones here. So let's see, how's this gonna look? We'll put it over in this corner. And this whole base is gonna change eventually. Um, I'm gonna be adding on to it, probably breaking out some of these walls and adding a second floor and then connecting a bridge over here. We gotta put some stairs down so it's nice and easy to uh, get up on the porch here instead of trying to jump every single time. But that will come in time, of course. For now, we've got some cooked veggies. We got some, uh, a ton of cooked meat. We, uh, we just, we have way more than we actually need. All right, for now, let's close up our little cabin on the island. Let's go to sleep. It's now 7 a.m. And we need to go get some oxide. I think the next upgrade in our tech tree should probably be this oxidizer. That's going to start cooking up um, oxygen for us. I can't remember exactly how it works, but I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. All right, guys, so I found a little bit more oxide here. I'm going to top myself off, consume the stack, throw the rest in here. 
And I'm gonna just try and grind out, try and level up to level 10 here and um, see where we're at. And then I think we try and put some kind of bridge down near our base and um, see where we're at from there. So let me do that and um, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, it took me a little while and a lot of hunting. As you can tell, I uh, did a little bit of work on this crocodile, but I just leveled up to level 10. So let me skin these guys, get their bones from them, repair my bone knife. Oh, that's another thing. I really need to up the durability of my items, especially like my bone knife, because it, where, what happened there? Oh, that's the buffalo I killed. So I still can't skin the buffalo, um, but apparently once they die, I can uh, use my bone knife to get some bones from them. But yeah, I need to up the durability of my knife because it just wears out so fast. Pretty much everything that I use does. But let's just check out our tech tree really quick. So we got kind of the main stuff that I wanted from this one, except for this stick blueprint. What I need to do before I do that is unlock this, the wood breakdown. So that will now allow us to go over here and unlock this. This is going to allow us to use wood to break down into sticks. So that's going to be really good for us. Hold on, I see. Oh. Okay, I was going to say, I hear a bunch of footprints around me. Let me get to my base here really quick so I feel a little bit safer while I'm scrolling through my menu because this area is pretty hostile. Um, the, the buffalo are fine. It's the crocodiles that I don't really like and the jaguars like to pop up out of nowhere as well. And I did try some fishing as well. Speaking of that, let me uh, grab that guy. Looks like I get 104 XP for killing a fish and then another 104 when I uh, harvest it. So you don't actually get the whole fish when you harvest it. You just get the fish chunks. So if you want the entire fish, which I think will eventually allow us to like mount them and stuff. Um, but if you want the whole one, you need to use the fishing rod. Hold on. Hold on. I, I know I need to check out the skills and stuff, but what in the world are those over there? Wait a minute. I don't think I've seen those. Oh my goodness. Are those emus? Are th is that what they are? Emus or um, ostriches? Emus, right? Hold on. Let's find out. I doubt that they're hostile, even though I'm pretty sure birds like that in real life are. Oh, they're called moas. I don't know what that is. Oh, I missed though. I missed again. I missed. He Okay, he keeps bobbing his head at the worst time. No! <laughs> He knows. There we go. I was not aiming for that one, but I got it. Um, yeah, let's check this guy out. Yeah, this one's the juvenile. Yeah, he's a press E to lead creature. Oh, oh, hold on. So I noticed that with the buffalo as well. I know I was calling him bison before, um, but the buffalo, if you go up to him, it allows you, allows you to lead the creatures as well. I believe we can ride these guys. Now, I wonder if I'd be able to ride him. He's just a juvenile, and I just killed his mom or dad. I do apologize for that. Um, but that would be super cool. This is a once... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a crocodile. Um, I wanted to read the description for that. Let me see if I can sneak around here. Once extinct large predatory bird native to New Zealand brought back to life on Icarus through the terraform terraforming process and then killed again by you oh my that just made me feel horrible um <laughs> okay well i don't really need to harvest it especially now that i just found out that uh they're friendly they're not gonna hurt oh my gosh yeah there's crocodiles everywhere this is why i wanted to get back to my base here excuse me no you just blocked me i really don't want to get caught out in the water with these crocs here get away from me fish because they swim a lot faster in the water than I do. So let me get up here. Oh, boy. Okay, I think I lost him. He doesn't know where I'm at. He's right over. There he is. Okay. So let me get in here. Hopefully he doesn't realize I'm in here and try and attack my base. Close up the door so he can't get in. And just stay stealthy in here. Um... Wow, okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't start attacking. Let's check out the tech tree again here. Uh, well, let's check out tier two first. We're going to want the crafting bench. That's going to be huge. And now we just have one more. I guess the anvil. But the anvil is probably going to be useless until we get the stone furnace. So I think for now, we just get the rain reservoir. 
That's going to allow us to collect some fresh water so that we don't have to rely on our berries in order to get them. Um, can we craft that right away? So I don't see it in here. I'm guessing we have to craft it in our workbench. So let me get the stuff for that really quick. Okay, we've got the craft bench. Let's just place it, I guess, right here is fine. It's already getting so crowded. I could probably get rid of some of these storages and move that over here. Um, but for now, let's check this out. Okay, so we do even have enough for the rain reservoir right away. So let's throw everything in there and queue that up. And bam, we've got it. Okay, so let's deploy this. We're going to need it outside, of course. What? That thing scared me. Um, let's put this up here for now. I know it's kind of blocking our windows. Uh, let's put it this way. And there we go. Oh, that thing looks so cool. Um, and so I guess it should just start collecting rain once it actually rains. Um, and then I did build this drying rack. This drying rack, uh, I wasn't sure how it worked until I found some stringy meat. I tried putting regular fish chunks as well as the regular meat before I cooked them up. Um, and that just didn't work. It didn't do anything. It doesn't show it in here. So it looks like stringy meat works and then probably some other meats. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing this meat will just last a lot longer now that it's dried. All right, so we've got the workbench and we can make some rope out of the fiber that we have. I don't think we really need any right now. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's just make what we've got right now. And, um, starting to get a little dark. What I'm going to try and do next is just try and build a little bridge. I think starting with the bridge from here over to here. Eventually we'll connect kind of everything all the way around. But this is just going to be a start. I'm going to start this. I know it's going to get a little bit dark. Once it does, I'll go to sleep and then continue working on it all. Alright guys, so we are in a pretty good spot right now. We got our crafting bench. We got our oxidizer. We now have a rain reservoir as well as a drying rack. And I've got a bunch of meat up there right now drying. And look at this. Look at this. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. And it oh man, it, it makes such a difference being able to run across the water because you go so slow in the water. And you can tell I put some stairs here on this end too so I don't have to jump up on it. And um, I think it I think it turned out pretty well. Maybe eventually I'll put like a, a, an awning or something over top of this. Um, but that's a project for the future. And then also, I did a little uh, fishing dock out here. I just thought it'd be kind of nice. You come out here in the morning, do some fishing, cast out your line, and enjoy the view. And guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I seriously, seriously appreciate it. If you did, please throw a like on the video. Subscribe if you do want to see some more. And guys, I really do want to say thank you for hanging in there with me. I haven't been uploading as much lately, and there's just a lot going on in the personal life. Um, so I appreciate your guys' patience. It really does mean a lot. For those of you who aren't aware, we do have a Discord. There will be a link down in the description. Um, down there as well, you can become a member if you want to support the channel a little bit extra as well. Um, you get some perks with that, including like some Discord roles, members only access in the Discord, um, previews to upcoming videos, things like that. It's, a, it's pretty cool. And then on top of that, also down in the description, there is a list of playlists 
playlist for all the other games that I'm playing, or at least some of my more popular series. Um, so you can go check out. We've got a bunch more videos, and I plan on making a bunch more here in the future. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out. You guys are amazing. I truly, truly mean that. You guys have, have been so supportive lately, and um, that means a lot to me, especially doing something that I love like this. is. Um, it's truly been a blessing. So, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Later.